Okay. Good job, good job. Get a full stretch, L shape. When you, when you do your landing, try not to bring your knees, your right knee forward. You wanna put the right knee back and find your posture. Ready, bud? Let's do, let's do one of the drills that I mentioned in, in part two. That's where you do the explosion and then the pogo stick. And when you do the pogo stick, try to stay, try to separate your knees and stay in the same place as best you can. Try not to pogo stick all over the court. Ready? Great, great, again. Very nice, very nice. Again. When when you go when you go from from the L shape to the to the full extension, you want a straight line from your toe all the way up to your hand, full extension. Good. Where do you stand normally? I'm gonna do this. I, I love to use cones to make a little runway for the player so that they can work on their dynamic balance. And if you have a, a clay court, you can draw the lines on the clay. If you don't have a clay court, you can use cones or you can use any other type of teaching aid. But what I want is for, for I want Aiden to get a, a great explosion into the court, inside the court, but not to veer to the left or the right. So we use these runway lines to help with that. Ready, bud? Very nice. Remember, you don't have to jump too far. The focus should be on going up and then in, not just going horizontal. Can you do your hop? Can you do, can you do your pogo? One, two, three. Separate the knees. Separate, that's better, that was better, again. One, two, three, good. I, I teach a lot on soft clay courts, but if you teach a lot on hard courts, you can put down a, a soft mat or something with cushion so the players don't have to absorb all the shock with the knee, especially with young kids, I think it's a good idea. You put down something soft like a mat, or any kind of cushioning material, and then the players can jump onto that soft surface and they don't have to absorb too much, too much uh, shock. On clay courts, the courts are soft and it's not, not a big deal. All right, ready, buddy? Good. If you're doing this exercise with, with young children, just be careful not to over, overdo it. Don't do a couple hundred repetitions in a day. Use common sense and protect the knee joint of those young developing bodies. You can do it, but make sure it takes uh, enough rest and you don't, you don't over overuse the, 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 the leg joint there. Go. Okay, ready bud? Let's do some serve. Okay, we've got a nice line. This is your runway. Want to get a great explosion into the court. And I haven't seen you veer left or right yet. Very good dynamic balance. Very good balance in the air. Okay. On that one, try to separate the knees a little. On that one, you jumped in and your contact point was a little bit behind your body. You want to throw the racket forward and get a good contact in front. There you go. Great hesitation. If you guys saw that one, he had an awesome hesitation. Toss went up and he found his L shape beautifully. He did not enter the back scratch too early. Hold that trophy position and then explode. 